And that was the Jazz for You Quartet, and uh, they'll be playing again during the show. But we're, right now we're talking about Of Mice and Men, a John Steinmeck's uh, play. And it's being performed at the Circle Theater Players, and they're over at the Sand Lake Center for the Arts in Averill Park. Joan is with me right now to well, tell hi. me what's going on. <laughs> you, you have such an amazing place. You have so much going on. Oh, we do. And you'll hear a little bit about a concert, okay. and we have uh, ballet classes, and we have an ongoing um, you have an art show, art gallery that changes every six weeks. And so there's lots going on all the time. Great, great. Busy place. And Camp Logan, which was done here in Schenectady last weekend, will be at our place oh, this wonderful, weekend. wonderful, wonderful. Which is great. Now tell me, uh, of Mice and Men. Well, I think the thing that's really fascinating for us is the two leads, Joe, George Filio and Bill Douglas. Both of them have been here on the Both show. Both of them have been here. Both of them um, discovered acting late in life, and they go from show to show to show. I mean, and they're George good. They're usually good. Usually in, in two at the same time. Exactly, because he's been over at Classic Theater Guild yes. and a number of others. Yeah. So um, they're quite a team, and it's working out very nicely. Um, John Steinbeck took his um, title from the the quote, "The best laid plans. best laid plans of mice and men often go awry." So it's really a tragedy. Um, it's about the depression area. It's required reading in the high schools. And so um, unfortunately our actors couldn't do a daytime show, but we're really hoping that those who are homeschooled will be able to come. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. And uh, of course, there's, it's only $10 for those under 18, yeah. and then there's a group rate if indeed there is. Well, especially if it's required reading, you yes. know, what, a, what better way is to actually see the play in, in, right. in its right up there. And there's the opportunity, if we know they're coming, that they can meet with the director and the actors also. Oh, so it makes it an experience. Yes. Yeah. It oh, I like great. that. Yeah, I like that very much. So, uh, you, but now you have a benefit concert coming yes, up too, yes. and you have three really good performers with coming. one of my delightful musicians, Brian Malik. He yep, uh, yep. goes around the world. He has He's the an most incredible man. Interesting drums uh, yep. that you can imagine, and so it's kind of eclectic, kind of jazz, kind of classic. Uh, with him is Michael Dimon. Mm -hmm. and Elizabeth Woodbury Cassis. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's coming up this weekend, and that's a benefit concert. This weekend being the date? The date. Is oh, February, February 23rd. 23rd. <laughs> February 23rd. Right. Because Even, a month later, you're having a concert. Yeah, right. Yeah. Even though they're uh, local musicians, they um, you know have a reputation around the country and also around the world. Isn't, so. that, isn't it nice that we are so... And, and we talked about this before the show, that we are just so blessed in this area to have such great talent. Oh, Whether it, we're talking about actors or musicians mm -hmm. or whatever, we have really some good stuff here. Yeah. So, so we hope that... Uh, I think those that come to Of Mice and Men are in for a treat because there's a lot of um, emotion that we can identify with you know, the dreams, the loneliness. Um, so even though it's a tragedy, I think it's something that really speaks it's a, I remember, to the audience. It's, it's funny that you say that, because of, of all the stuff that we read in high school, I mean, Of Mice and Men really kind of, it sticks with you, Stick. you know. And Hemings Way's, uh, the, the, the one about the fishermen, that was the other one that, that, that stuck, stuck with me. With you. Were, yeah, there's right. two, you know, there's two stories that, that, um, that kind of stuck with me, but Of Mice and Men was just so, Set, had such an impact on mm -hmm. me. Uh, now, we didn't say when it's playing, so oh. let's tell everybody. Oh, well, Mice and Men is playing. Uh, starts on March 8th and plays for two weekends. And this season we've added a Thursday night performance, okay. uh, which will be on the 14th. And that's becoming more and more popular. Uh, as people have weekend plans or right, have, right. have other things to do sure. on the weekends. And Thursday's a great night to go out. Yeah, and you Sunday, do have matinees. Sunday matinees are, are extremely popular, and that's at 2.30 in the afternoon. That, so this is really great. So if you, you know, some people don't, don't like or perhaps cannot drive right. in the evening. And those afternoon matinees are wonderful. And it's kind of fun to be there, too, in an afternoon because then you see everything. And, and we're handicap accessible, so exactly. that makes it uh, very, uh, very accommodating. And the theater is very intimate. It's a black box theater, and yeah. it's like you feel like you're right there and really enjoying it. 
Uh, I'm so pleased uh, that uh, you're able to have a, a Center for the Arts in Averill Park that brings such wonderful performers and oh. the art and, and now ballet classes, huh? Yeah, the ballet classes actually have been with us from the beginning. And uh, it's amazing to see the two and three year olds uh, learning the art of movement, I would yes. say. Yeah, and it's really great because it allows the kids to uh, to go to their creative side. Of course. Yes, <laughs> really. Joan Fees from the Circle Theater Players and also the Sand Lake Center for the Arts. Please check out their fundraiser on the 23rd of February and of course their big concert coming up on the 23rd of March. They're just, because there's four weeks in yeah, February, yeah, the dates all fun. fall together. 